in this video, we're going to step back in time and take a look at the history of advertising. Advertising, along with currency and trade, is one of the oldest aspects of business that is still recognisable today. As soon as people began to develop products and services, advertising was needed to make sure people knew about them. In other videos, we will explore exactly what advertising is and how it can be accomplished in the 21st century. But really, to look at the history of advertising, we're truly looking at the history of communication. Every single time throughout the ages that a new method of communication has been developed, we have found a way to use this to advertise products and services. Before we go any further, it's important to understand that the whole point of advertising is to inform and persuade potential customers to make a purchase, or even, back in the day, a trade. Let's say you had a ton of carrots. There's only so many carrots any one person can handle. So you may have found a way to inform people you want to trade some carrots for, let's say, some chickens. This process of informing customers is known as advertising. In the 21st century, especially with the rise of social media and platforms like YouTube, it is estimated we see thousands of adverts a day. In this video, we're going to get in our time machine and travel back 5,000 years and meet Hapu, who was a rug shop owner in ancient Egypt. Sounds like a normal, decent enough guy, doesn't he? However, I'm warning you that you're not going to like him very much. In around the year 3000 BC, Hapu sent out a papyrus, an ancient kind of document, which offered a reward. However, that reward was for the capture and return of an escaped slave called Shem. If found, he would be returned to Hapu's shop, where the reward could be claimed. But, although he wasn't a nice guy, Hapu did have an eye for business opportunity. As well as talking about the reward, Hapu described his shop so people could find it as the best rug shop selling the best rugs in Egypt. Hapu had accidentally created the world's first ever printed advert. But whatever happened to Shem, the escaped slave? You'll be pleased to hear that he was never captured, so the advert didn't actually achieve its original purpose. Nice one, Shem. But Hapu's accidental advertising campaign was a success. Hapu did notice that he had many more customers arriving at his shop after he sent out the Pyrus advert. In other words, his advertising campaign was so effective that he expanded his business on the back of increased footfall. To all the teachers out there, show all of these videos without any ads and gain access to our growing library of over 500 teaching worksheets. Why not visit bizwizard.co.uk to find out more? So, advertising isn't as new as you thought. This believed to be true story was the birth of advertising way back 5,000 years ago. So, let's continue our journey through time and take a look at some of the pivotal moments in the history of advertising. 1472. The first poster advertisement is placed on church doors in London. We see posters and billboards every day. But back then, this process was completely new and original, and it inspired the printing advertising that would follow. 1650. The first newspaper ad offering a reward for 12 stolen horses is published. This went on to spark a flurry of newspaper advertising that would soon follow. 1704. The Boston newsletter encourages its readers to place ads in the newspaper. Now we begin to see an increase in newspapers aiming to sell advertising space in their publication. Remember, the whole point in advertising is to persuade customers to make a purchase, and back then the newspaper would have been the most effective way of doing so. 1870. A new style of ad is born. This is focused on being straight to the point. In particular, the reasons why customers should buy the product or engage with the service. At this point in history, some of the greatest business minds begin to develop the persuasive language that is used today by marketers across the globe. No longer were these adverts simply informative, they were now focused around the value that would be added. 1880. Postcards become one of the hottest new ways to reach customers. Here, 
direct advertising begins to become prominent, and this was really the very first seed of the overcrowded email inbox that we see today. 1902. Mellon's Food is the first to advertise its brand on the side of 25 airship flights, becoming the first brand in history to take this approach. Now, it's not unusual to see adverts on planes, trains, and the side of buses. But back then, this was a new and exciting way of grabbing customers' attention. Bring this video and over a hundred more to life with fun, interactive games, quizzes, and case studies. Why not try the first 25 completely free by visiting bizwizard.co.uk? 1922. Radio ads are born, with businesses able to purchase 10 minutes for $100. Only two years later, brands begin to pay to sponsor an entire radio show. This would eventually be known as sponsored content. Do you follow a YouTuber who is sponsored by a big brand? Well, this process began with the invention of radio, and in turn, radio advertisements. Radio is still to this day an effective method of advertising. 1925. Advertisers start to appeal to customer emotions focusing on what pleasure customers would receive from their product or service. Here, we begin to see a development in the understanding of how customers' brains work and what makes them tick. We begin to see the development of huge marketing teams simply responsible for selling through advertisements. 1955. Television advertising in the UK began on the 22nd of September with the launch of ITV which was the first commercial channel which had an aim to make a profit, and also the first competitor for the BBC. The first commercial played was for Gibbs Toothpaste. It featured a tube of toothpaste, a block of ice, and a commentary about the product's tingling fresh qualities. From here, TV advertising blew up, and businesses all over the globe began to develop recorded adverts. 1975 Video recorders are introduced, and consumers begin to record shows, which means many begin to skip advertising by fast-forwarding through it. This, as you can imagine, became an issue for advertisers, and they began to seek out new ways to get their message to the customers. 1990. Computers become more popular, and easier to access at home, with millions of homes now connected to the internet. This now meant that marketers had found their new advertising avenue and could begin to find ways to reach out and persuade customers using the World Wide Web. 1994. At the beginning of the internet, sending of commercial emails was banned, but a guy called Gary sent the first email spam message in 1978 to 600 people. He was reprimanded and he was told not to do it again. However, it was here, in 1994, that the first official spam campaign was launched. The term spam email actually comes from an old UK comedy show called Monty Python and a sketch they did back in the 1970s. Each of the video courses over at bizwizard.co.uk also includes an interactive business case study that applies the knowledge learned to a real world scenario. There are over 1,000 multiple choice questions each with detailed feedback, which tests students' understanding of the content. Why not visit bizwizard.co.uk to find out more? 1995. The search engine is born with early providers like Yahoo and AltaVista. Other platforms like Ask Jeeves and Google would follow just a couple of years later, and we all know Google would go on to have over 90% of the search engine traffic not far from a true monopoly in the industry. 2005. This was an extremely big year for social media, with the launch of both YouTube and Facebook. Social media and its ability to target specific groups of people now dominates the advertising we see, and used correctly can allow small businesses to manage some fantastic marketing campaigns. 2008. Brands start to realise the importance of having an online presence for their potential customers. It is here that social media marketers becomes a genuine career option, and many budding young business enthusiasts begin to head to university to find out everything there is to know about using platforms to persuade target markets to make a purchase. 2012. 
online videos reach almost 170 million viewers. Many of them are for dancing cats, but still, imagine if YouTube had never been developed in the way it did, the world would currently be a different place. 2013. Sites like Pinterest and Instagram join the social network scene, trying to find innovative ways to allow people to share with friends, family and the masses. Social media influencers have now become huge, and if they are supporting a particular brand, this can really help in the battle to persuade customers to move from one brand to another. 2020. Advertising soars on digital platforms including social media, podcasts, pay-per-click and more. Now, customer data plays a huge role in advertising, as marketers have greater technology to target their potential customers. 3D billboards are set up around the world, and technology now plays a larger role than ever in the game of advertising. So, you can see, from this brief look at its history, that the concept of advertising is always changing, as it adapts to the new needs of the consumer. Nearly 150 years ago, postcards were the exciting new form of advertising, and now businesses are creating virtual advertisements which change based on the preferences of the viewer, or using YouTube celebrities to endorse their products and drive sales. Who knows what advertising will be doing 150 years from now? With a dense, dynamic history, advertising is an incredible tool to add to your marketing toolbox. Between print ads, radio sponsorship, TV commercials, and social media promotion, the opportunities to advertise and promote your brand are endless. To best connect and engage with your audience, speak your customer's language, appeal to their emotions, and tap into their desire to be part of a community, make sure you create a clear and authentic brand story to illustrate how your brand aligns with these potential customers' values. By applying these tried and true practices to your advertising, you'll build a magnetic brand that attracts customers, establishes a following, and generates revenues. Do this and your brand will grow into a household name that stands the test of time, just like advertising itself. This has been The Biz Wizard. See you in the next video.